good morning students today we are going to see about non linear data structure graph traversal techniques depth first search so the objective of this presentation is we are going to learn about two different types of traversal techniques one is breadth first search the other one is depth first search in the last class we have discussed about breadth first traversal algorithm so in this class we are going to discuss about depth first traversal algorithm with an example so what is graph traversal algorithm hope you remember traversing is nothing but visiting all the nodes so we have two standard methods for graph traversal they are breadth first search the other one is depth first search what is depth first search algorithm so it is a recursive algorithm it is used to search all the vertices of a graph or all the vertices of a tree data structure so how this algorithm works means it begins with the starting node a and this a becomes the current node then you have to process the neighbors of a then a neighbor of neighbor of a and so on okay so like that for each node we are searching for its neighbors in depth wise that's why it's called as depth first search algorithm during the execution if we found that a particular node is processed node then no need of revisit again just backtrack to the current node so if the node is not processed then you can make that node as the current node okay so the same process is repeated the algorithm for depth first search is like a breadth first search here also i am using the variable called status so the status is initially set to 1 for all the nodes in the given graph so status equal to 1 indicates that the node is in ready state i told you have to push the starting node a on the stack initially that is it is the current node now so we have to set its status as 2 so status equal to 2 indicates that the node is entering into the waiting state then as like as the breadth first search we are going to repeat step 4 and 5 repeatedly until all the nodes are processed so you have to pop the top node since this is a stack always the last node is popped out the topmost node is popped out the topmost node is processed and its status is set as 3 so status equal to 3 indicates that it is a processed state after popping out the node n you have to push all the neighbors of n into the stack so instead of q in depth first search we are using the stack data structure while pushing the neighboring nodes we have to check the status is 1 or 2 okay so if the status is 1 then you can push that node into the stack and you have to make that node status as 2 if status equal to 3 then you don't need to push that element into the stack so that's about the algorithm for depth first search so we are going to see with one example consider we have a sample graph and its adjacency list is also represented so they ask you to print the depth first traversal of all the nodes from the node h so here the starting node is h so in the first step h is initially pushed down to the stack so you have to pop the topmost element from the stack since we have only one element it is the topmost element that is h so h is popped out and it is printed after that you have to push 
the neighbors of h to the stag so what about the neighbor of h it is a so a is pushed down to the stag in the next step since i am having only one element a in the stag it is popped out and after popping the element it is printed and after printing the neighbors of a that is b and d are pushed into the stack now the stack contains two elements b and d so here the topmost element is d so it is popped and the popped node is printed and we are seeing with the neighbors of d so the neighbors of d d is having only one neighbor f so f is pushed down to the stack so now stack contains b and f so can you tell me which element is going to be popped out next the stack is containing the elements b and f so we have to pop the node f okay so the node f is popped and after that the popped element is printed and we are seeing with the neighbor of f it is a so already a is the processed node so you don't need to reinsert them you don't need to push that element again into the stack okay so see the figure so print a a is a processed node so you don't need to again push that element into the stack okay so now the stack contains the element b so b is popped and after popping the node b it is printed after printing we are seeing the neighbors of b it is c and f so already f is printed so only we have to push the node c into the stack so now the stack contains the node c in the next step so we are popping the topmost element c it is printed and we are seeing the neighbors of g uh, c so c is having the neighbors e g and h so h is our initial node it is already processed so the unprocessed nodes e and g are pushed down to the stack now again top print uh, sorry pop the topmost element from the stack so it is g so g is printed see the neighbor of g so the neighbors of g are e and h so h is already processed and e is already in stack so you don't need to reinsert them now stack contains only one element e so that element is popped out and it is printed and we are seeing the neighbors e b and f both b and f are processed nodes so you don't need to insert them into the stack now the stack becomes empty which means that all the nodes of the graph have been visited so you can print the sequence of the graph so in which order we have printed okay so at first we have printed the node h then a then d f b c g e so this is the depth first traversal of the given graph so what are the applications of depth first search algorithm so it is used to find a path between the two specified nodes u and v for both the unweighted graph and for the weighted graph it is used to check whether the graph is connected graph or not it is used to compute the spanning tree of the connected graph so these are some applications of depth first search algorithm so these are some anna university sample questions and these are some sample gate questions so this is very important topic in non linear data structure graph okay so once again so depth first search is nothing but it is one of the graph traversal method 
it is a recursive algorithm it is used to search all the vertices of the graph so here the neighbors of nodes are visited in depth wise in order to find the depth first traversal okay thank you all